Namaste. My name is Dr. Achal Bhagat. I am a senior consultant psychiatrist and psychotherapist at Apollo Hospitals. Today, we are going to be talking about attention deficit and hyperactivity disorder. We are going to talk about it, its symptoms, its diagnosis, its treatment, and what happens if you neglect or ignore ADHD. What is ADHD? ADHD or Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder is a neurodevelopmental disorder, which means that there is a problem in the development of the neurological system of the brain. So how does ADHD present itself in children and in adults? Attention Deficit and Hyperactivity Disorder, as the name suggests, has two distinct kind of symptoms. One, symptoms of attention deficit, being inattentive. Second, symptoms of being hyperactive. Let's look at these symptoms. In children, in the attention deficit, the child is daydreaming, is not able to focus on things, is not able to focus on play, does not involve in activities that require long periods of time, gets confused if too much information is given at the same time. In hyperactivity, they are like a child driven by the motor. They will start a number of activities, move from one activity to the other. They tire people out with the number of activities that they do. In adults, when a diagnosis had been missed as a child and as an adult, they have similar symptoms, but the nature of presentation could be in their work, in their relationships, and it could be more to do with tiring people out with the number of activities that they do, being restless, being agitated, and also not being able to stop themselves from intervening or talking. How common is ADHD? ADHD is a common disorder in ch of childhood. It is the commonest disorder that can lead to disability in children from the mental health side. About 0.6% of a population might be affected by it. Boys are affected more than girls with ADHD. What are the causes of ADHD? ADHD has uh, multiple causes and we do not know a definite answer to that yet as to what exactly causes ADHD. But it is known that there could be a genetic vulnerability and prenatal factors, that is when the child is in the womb, if the mother's health is affected or if there is substance use at that point of time, there could be presentation of ADHD. It leads to neurocircuitry changes in the brain and pruning of the neurons as they should happen does not happen and this causes ADHD. Is ADHD related to autism or learning disorders? ADHD can occur together with many other difficulties. Uh, children living with autism spectrum disorders, uh, which is also a neurodevelopmental disorder, may have attention deficit or hyperactivity problems. Children living with specific learning difficulties may also have attention deficit disorder or hyperactivity difficulties. There is a significant interface between learning difficulties and ADHD. The learning difficulties sometimes are worsened because the child is not able to focus on how to learn. So if somebody has, let's say, a learning difficulty for spellings or learning difficulties for maths, they might, it might be worsened because of the attention deficit symptoms that they might have. What can make ADHD worse? The commonest thing that make, in, make ADHD worse is the stigma around it. And a school not being able to change their learning environment to help the child with an attention deficit or with hyperactivity to be included in the learning processes. Uninformed schools, impatient teachers could make ADHD worse. Blaming the child, a parenting style that blames the child becomes too directive, too controlling, and not understanding, or too ambiguous, too giving, and too accepting, too, too much on the side of care, or too much on the side of control, could contribute to ADHD. But parents in schools don't cause ADHD. It's a biological vulnerability. It is a biological disorder which sustains itself. How is ADHD diagnosed in children, in teens, and in adults? There is no specific diagnostic biological test for ADHD, by which I mean there are no blood tests, there are no imaging tests which can make us understand what is ADHD. ADHD is understood by 
getting to know the child better, knowing the history of the symptoms, how have they developed, what all areas of their uh, functioning do they affect, and how is it coming in the way of their everyday life and in their further development. That is an assessment for ADHD. The diagnosis in adults is even more difficult because symptoms of attention deficit or hyperactivity may present as other psychiatric disorders. So if the person does not have other psychiatric disorders, if the person does not have substance use difficulties and is presenting an attention deficit with past history of possible attention deficit or hyperactivity in childhood, then considering the diagnosis of ADHD is possible. What happens if ADHD is left untreated or undiagnosed? If attention deficit hyperactivity disorder is left untreated or undiagnosed, it can interfere with the development of the child. Now, there are no exact treatments for ADHD. Nothing cures ADHD. But if the attention can be increased, if the behavior can be managed, if the child learns techniques of focusing, if the environment learns ways of helping the child learn, then the child will not have deficits in learning or deficits in relationships or deficits in, in learning through play. But if it's untreated, it does not give that window of opportunity that a child can have to develop to the extent that they need to develop to be able to manage their life in an everyday manner. How to prevent ADHD or its negative impact? There are no ways of preventing ADHD as a disorder except early diagnosis can prevent the negative impact of ADHD on the development of the child. It, if diagnosed early on where the parents are educated, the school is educated, the child's attention is managed through medicines, it can lead to less disability with ADHD. Today we talked about attention deficit and hyperactivity disorder in children and in, in adults. We talked about its diagnosis, we talked about its presentation, we talked about its treatment, we talked about what we can do to help children living with ADHD and adults living with ADHD. If you know someone or if you think that you may have symptoms of ADHD, please do reach out to a psychiatrist or a mental health professional. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay connected. Namaste.